what social skills are important to allow creativity to flourish? Uh, there are still uh, surely several social skills. Uh, one very important one is openness. Being really open in a group uh, to others' ideas is very important. Having a constructive mindset, a constructive attitude uh, is also a, a key success factor for establishing a nice ambience where really uh, ideas can come up and can be discussed. We also have to allow for a certain level of craziness of people. Yeah? So the, uh, we know that the craziest ideas have led to really groundbreaking innovations. Uh, and so we have to allow such kind of crazy ideas and they are very also simply necessary to, uh, to wake up the others and to animate uh, the, uh, the group such that also others uh, jump in and, and uh, participate in the discussion. Then, of course, if we speak about craziness, yeah, it would, of course, also be nice to have a certain moderating uh, role present. In general, a key success factor is for, for creativity groups uh, to have a certain role distribution, a, a certain number of specific roles, so the ones who can be crazy, the other ones who are more the analytic people, uh, the other ones who are more the so-called teamworking people, so helping uh, the team uh, climate or uh, chemistry to, to really be a nice one. Uh, and in this role distribution the moderator has also got a key role uh, in order to uh, achieve uh, first a certain level of really da dynamics in the group and yet assuring that the group still progresses, and which is very important when you do such creativity sessions in industry, they always want to have the impression even if they are allowed to be crazy, that they sort of progress uh, during the workshop. Uh, then uh, another social skill uh, is of course also the networking in general, that is to say to really think about who should participate in creativity sessions uh, and then uh, when the group is together to really be able to open up oneself and to really uh, work as a group, uh, as a network. Uh, probably another social skill that really comes to my mind is uh, a certain level of storytelling. Uh, that is to say, the capability of expressing one's ideas uh, in a way that the others can really nicely, immediately understand the idea. So it's a difference if I just, for example, if I'm looking for uh, a solution to a technical problem rather than just describing the idea that I have for a particular solution, really describing uh, the idea in the context of a concrete use case where the other uh, people in can immediately understand the added value of the particular idea uh, that I throw uh, into the group. But of course there are several other uh, social factors, but in general I think openness, openness for diversity is, is a key success factor.